In this video, we're finishing off with the screen capture application. And so far, what we have is an application that when we run it, we can actually grab the screen that's present here. And if I expand this, you can see I have the screen captured. And this label up here says screen capture up here. So when you look at the code, you'll see that I have a label here. And I go into the text uh, property of that label and I add this screen capture right there. Now when I go to the front here, and we're going to move forward right now and actually rearrange this. So we're going to actually start. I'm going to drag this button up here and I'm going to resize this button so it's out of the way. And then I'm going to select another button. I'm going to select it and just drag it over here. I'm going to resize it. Once I drag the button over here, I want to go ahead and change the name. So I'm going to go over, so make sure it's like that. I'm going to the properties over here. And I'm going under design and I want to start this off with BTN so I know that it's a button but I want this to be save the next thing I'm going to do is change the label on the button I'm gonna change that to save now I'm gonna add one more button and instead of dragging this I'm just gonna double click it and you'll see it adds it at the top corner and then I can drag it to where I want again I'm gonna rename this one because right now it does have a name but it's not anything descriptive so I want to go here instead of this called button one I'm gonna call this BTN clear you want to name the buttons according to what they do so that way coders or any team members and even yourself in the future can know in the back in the code uh, behind you'll know what this actually means and what it does and what it stands for and so now I'm going to change the label on this. Let's call it button one. I'm going to call this clear. Now in order to code this, I want to go ahead and add a procedure kind of like these here. I want to add a procedure back here. Now I could literally just go ahead and start typing the procedure for the button. However, an easier way to do this so go here to the front and I want to add the when this click I want to add a procedure to the button click here so I'm gonna select save I'm gonna go here to events and then where it says click I'm gonna double click inside of that and as you can see it wrote this part for me now there's another way to do this if I select the button and I double click it as you can see it wrote this for me so those two ways are exactly the same the only thing is, when you do it the way I did this one, you want to always make sure you get right back to the properties because sometimes some people kind of, you know, novices forget that they have the event selected and they wonder why this is so different over here. So you always want to go right back to the properties to make sure that that's a standard uh, that's set for you so you're not confused at all. Now, the other thing I want to change is I actually want to change this label to a status strip. This is really not professional to have a label sitting up there. So I want to change the label to a status strip. And if you go over here, you'll uh, see that it, you may not see the status strip here. Okay, so uh, let's say if you couldn't see it. You go over here into the uh, search and you can start typing status. And then you'll see the status strip pop up here. And all you need to do is select that and drag it all the way here at the bottom. Or like I did with the button, double click it and it'll go in the spot that it belongs normally. Okay. Now for the status strip, I'm going to leave it at status strip one. That's not a problem. So now let's go ahead and actually remove this label here. I'm going to get some errors in the back, but for right now I'm going to remove that label and I'm going to add the saved message, the message that I have here. I'm going to add that to the status strip. So once I save this here and I go back here, you see there's an error here because now there is no more label dot text there. So I need another label to add this in. So I'm going to go here to the design. I'm going to go on my status strip. But I'm going to go here to this little arrow button here. And then I'm going to go to edit items. Now from here, I can add all kinds of items. I'm going to add myself a status strip label here. I could have done it here. But I think it's important that you know this area because this is where you are able to really change a lot of concepts 
about how it looks and how it's going to react inside of here. So I'm just going to go ahead and rename this. I'm going to go down to the name. And I'm just going to call this um, TSS LEL message. I'm going to copy this. Hit save. Okay, so now all I need to do is go back here and change this to that label there. So now I'm going to hit Control S and then I'm going to run this. For right now, none of these work. Okay, so nothing's happening there. But when I hit Grab, watch the status strip. Now you see Screen Captured is down there in the status strip. That's much better than having that label up there. So I don't really want this inside of this label part. So I'm going to go back to this black arrow. I'm going to go to Edit Items. I'm going to select the TSS label message. And then I'm going to go up here to the text area. And I'm going to remove that text there. I'm going to hit OK. Because I don't want anything down there for now. So now let's add the code to the Save button. So I'm going to double click on the Save. I'm going to go ahead and type the code here and I'll be right back. Okay, so now we have the code here to save and basically we have an if statement here. And we have else clause right here. So we're saying if the background has nothing in there. Then go ahead and put no image to save inside of our label that we have. But if it does have something, then go ahead and save that background. So we're taking this, meaning this form background image and we're using a function in that image called save or procedure in that image called save and we're giving it this name and which means it's going to save it somewhere in our project so we're, we're going to have to search for that inside of our project we can actually save this to C drive or any other area of our computer if we want it as well for right now we just leave it at the default and then we give it a message down here to know what we actually saved it as so let's go ahead and run this hit start and I'm gonna try without even grabbing first I'm gonna hit save and you see here no image to save because there's no image back there so I'm gonna grab it first now now I have this grab now I'm gonna hit save and now it says saved as the name right there so we can go ahead and close it and I'm gonna want a way to clear this so that's what we're gonna do next so let me go ahead and stop this and when, when, whenever you are saving things to the project folder, you can go over here into your solutions and you, you may not see it. So in order to see where your project is actually running, you need access to the bin file. So the bin file, you'll go up here to show all files, and then you can see the bin file here. I'm going to click on the little arrow there, and the debug is where your application is being compiled. So I'm going to bring that down, and now you can see here, there's that image. Right click on this this name here and um, you can basically just open this up something like this and those should open it up in the text I mean in the image editor like this there we go so now it brought us directly to that image and inside of Visual Studio we were able to paint we were able to add certain things to it let's say if I wanted to add a box here to get rid of that but this is just uh, like a regular um, image editor that you'd get uh, it's not really that complex but it's just so you can do some simple concepts and then you can even save this or add on to it or save it as something else but as you can see here we have our entire screen capture working and saving information so now what we want to do is go ahead and clear this I don't think I have to stop the computer for this I'll just type it out this uh, background image equals null so we're just saying just make the background image equals null and then we don't want you to be able to save so I'm gonna say btn.save dot enabled that would be false and the next thing I want to do is give a message so TSS
And there we have it. That's our entire application. Let's go ahead and run it and see how it works. Go here, save. Uh, I'm going to try to grab. And there it is, grabbed. I can clear it, meaning I can't save it because there's nothing there. So I have to grab it again. Now, what I could do, once I grab, I need to make sure the save is back open. So I got to go back here. When I hit grab here, I'm going to have to make sure ETN save is enabled. I'm also going to have to make sure that the clear isn't, uh, I can, I can have the clear enabled too. And actually, I'm going to hide the clear. So I'm, I'm going to put show here for now. Because what I, what I really want to do is when the application first starts up here, I want pt and save dot enabled to be false and then I want the btn uh, clear and actually I don't even want you to be able to see those because I, I don't want those to be options so instead of uh, enabled I'm gonna hide them All right, so now after I hit grab, uh, I'm going to want inside this button dot grab here. So I grab the screen, and after that's done, after the message shows up right here, I'm going to want to show everything. So btn save dot show, because now they'll be available. And I also have to make the clear. And finally with this, I think I, sh okay, so I need the BTN save to also be uh, enabled. Because after it shows, it's I still need to make it enabled because, um, which I already have up here. So there we go. Okay, so let's try it out now. It's save, I mean start. So now you don't see anything. You can't be clicking on that and all the clear and all this other stuff for no reason. So you want to grab. Okay, so you grab the, you grab it. And now these are available. But let's say I clear it again. I can't save it, right? So I just grab again. Here we have it. And I can hit save. And I'm getting my messages down here. And I said I grab again. Let's see what happens. Good. It just does the same thing. Hit clear. Perfect. Now, one thing you can add, you know, you want to maybe change the name of this form, maybe add an exit button. So people who just have to exit and they don't have to do this, go up here to do it. It's up to you. But as you can see, you have a completely working program that actually captures the screen. It saves information. And I would suggest that you go ahead and maybe add some more messages down here for the user to understand what's going on when the application first starts. But uh, you have a full application going on right now. So. Hopefully this was helpful to you. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. And make sure you subscribe, make sure you share, and I'll see you guys next time.